Uh, may I? Um, you guys like your No, it's okay, sir. I'm good. Thank you so much. 1998, and I got Fighter of the Year. Thank you, thank you. But this is all about entertainment, having fun. Of course, I couldn't choose a better place. Um, Vegas, of course, was our first option because Vegas is, is my second home. Because, of course, born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan, was able to go to Vegas, start my career. And But um, the earth is my turn. I love just to go out there and perform, um, get people just entertained, have fun, smile. And Miami is a great place. And the reason why we chose Miami, uh, weather, outside, bike riding, yachts, and um, the list goes on and on. Um, of course, in clubbing, and I'm having an after party at Live. So, why Logan Paul? Um, Logan Paul is huge on YouTube. And he has a huge following and um you know big guy strong guy and it's just fun it's it's, it's entertaining it's all about enter entertainment and he's on and of course when he's on social media he's entertaining the people all the time and do you think this is kind of a culmination of your career the star power that you built that you can put on you're the only one that can put on an event like this oh it's gonna be a crazy event i'm just glad that i'm you know that i'm able to just um just come back and still entertain and and get people something to see Great. That's all for me, guys. Where we at? What's up? Hey, what's going on? Excuse me. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, Miami is uh, one of the places that, you know, I have a home. Um, and my mother actually is from, is from Florida. And my oldest sister is from Florida. So why not Miami? I've seen you at all, uh, a lot of heat games. Oh, yeah, love. You're, you're missing that, though? Like, the uh, courtside experience? Well, uh, we'll be back. The only thing we can do is keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. We'll be back. But Miami, great place. Um, uh, great NBA team. Great NFL team. Um, it's going to be exciting. Boy, do you just laugh at all that stuff up there? Oh, I heard, you know, I heard that so many times. So many times. You know, um, I'm a real fighter. And I'm the real deal. And I've been in there with, the, with some of the best. And we know Canelo is one of the best. Cotto is one of the best. Pacquiao, and the list goes on and on. So I've been in there with guys, big, strong guys. So it's all about entertainment. And June 6th, I'll be there to have fun. You're a fighter, but you, you've probably been the most influential businessman in the boxing game. Keep the mic. This is the shot, man. Keep oh, you said it. You YouTube, 100 million people. We're, we're always business. You know, it's always business. But the great, the really the great thing about my career was I was able to just make a lot of smart moves on the outside, and I'm able to put young fighters in in certain positions to grow and accomplish what they want to accomplish. But I got to I got to come in and take my hat off to my team. Um, you know, Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellaby, along with you know along with my staff from Mayweather Promotions, has done a great great job. But I want to say also I want to give a thanks to you know my guy One Shot Sean, as well as uh, James AKA P Rilla. And, and Solomon as well. Solomon from Famio. They came together, we talked about this, and we made it happen. What you, and it can't happen without the two competitors. So I'm glad that, you know, Logan Paul, as well as, my, as, as, well as myself, was able to come together and make this happen. What do you think about the way that boxing game is going? What do you think about the way the boxing, that you're, you're coming to stuff like this? Well, you know, even with, even with me putting 30,000 people in this arena, which the tickets will be sold out as soon as they go on sale. Um, as far as the pre-sales, it's crazy. It's almost sold out already. But then eventually we'll open up and we'll go to 40. We'll go to 50. Then we'll eventually go to 60,000. Uh, I think. Do I think we can put 60,000 in, in, in this arena? Absolutely. Floyd, what do you have to say to your Mexican fans? And if you think that Canelo is the actual face of boxing right now? Um, if Canelo is the face of boxing, you know, uh, more power to Canelo. But I see uh, Gervonta Tank Davis as the face of boxing. He's, he's young, he's hungry, and um, well, if I'm not mistaken, I, I 23 to 24 and over, and uh, with a 99% knockout ratio. So I see Javante Tank Davis as the face of box. Do you have a message for your big fandom in Mexico? Oh, Mexico. You know, I love Mexico. Great place to go visit. Great place where you want to take a vacation. Cabo, Cancun, Tulum, a lot of great places. Floyd, so you guaranteed the knockout out there? I'm 100% sure. It's going to get knocked out, 100% sure.
Did you prepare this fight different than, than well, this is an exhibition. your career? It's not really a fight. It's, I mean, this is a fight to him. To me, it's just going out there and do what I do regularly. Just having some fun. You know, I'm the best at what I do. So it doesn't really matter what, no comments, what anybody say about me. I'm happy with myself. And I know what I'm capable of doing when I get to this point. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey, how are you? Great questions. It's not coming back. No. A fight is a fight. And this is all about entertainment. You know, everything that's been going on as far as COVID for the last couple of years. The fans and the people want some type of entertainment. And this is the, this is, this is the biggest event since COVID has hit. No, I really don't. Do I miss boxing? Absolutely not. You know, I like to give back to the young fighters. Um, it's up and coming. And then on the undercard, we got a guy that's from Miami, Chad Ochocinco. He's making his pro debut, which is a great thing. And we got so many up and coming young fighters that can take my place someday in, in, in the sport of boxing, which is a great thing. Does boxing miss his Floyd Mayweather? Of course boxing Mrs. Floyd Mayweather because everybody want, want me to continue to fight um, all the, the young and up and coming fighters. I'm proud of these guys. You know, I'm, I'm proud of young young fighters and boxing is here to stay. It's a fight for him, not for you. It's a fight for him. But for me, it's all about fun. It's all about entertainment. Let me, last one, let me quote uh, kind of what you said. If you and him were to fight and uh, you were both in your prime, he would win. Well, it's crazy that you know, Canelo said that because when Canelo fought me, he was in his prime. And when I fought, I was an old man. So I wasn't, actually, I wasn't in my prime when I fought Canelo. You know, I was an old man when I fought Canelo. Just like this right here. Young guy, even though I'm old, I got a lot of experience. I'm going to go out there and just show him that this, this is the elite level and it's something totally different. A message for the lab. The Latin people, I want to say thank you. Tell them, do you guys have been great for so many years. Tune in June 6th. Man, we're going to give you guys blood, sweat, and tears June 6th. Thank you very much, Floyd. Thank you. Thank you. Right here. Yes. Floyd, uh, you spent so much time in your life in Miami. I mean, this is not my first time. You know, this um, just entertaining. This, this is my first time really get, uh, get, getting a chance to entertain the people. Ah in Miami. But have I ever fought in Miami? Absolutely. I fought in Miami a couple of times. And every time I came out victorious. Miami is one of the places that I live, one of the places where I have a home. And the palm trees, the yachts, the bike ride, the water, the ambiance. Miami is a great place. What do you think it's going to be like fighting in the stadium with us when fights in Vegas recently? He's fighting. He's fighting. It's an exhibition for me. So it's going to be great. Going to be like this, I, I mean, I'm going here. the last time I went out to perform, I was in Japan, where he was very disrespectful to the people in Japan. But 40,000 people showed up. I know it was only, uh, I think, two minutes or less than two minutes. Hopefully this time it'll be a little, little bit longer. Tell us about your opponent in, in, in this fight, in the comeback fight. Oh, man, my opponent. Um, uh, very, very interesting guy, interesting character, uh, a YouTuber, and um, me, myself. I mean, he's a fake fighter, I'm a real fighter, so this is a real fight to him, to me, he's having fun. How do you find this mix? Is it a bit bizarre, or how do you find it? It's gonna be fun. This is what I do. You know, um, I've been here so many times, and I just know what it takes, you know. Um, on my worst day, you know, on my worst day, I'm still gonna be Floyd Mayweather and go out there and do what I do best. A message for your fans all around the world. The, a message for my fans <laughs> all around the world. Continue to tune in. But June 6th, I want everybody, and let me look at my social media page. I want everybody to come to Miami. I think we're gonna start with June 4th, June 5th, and June 6th. I want everybody around the world to come to Miami, have fun, and watch me entertain. You gotta tell me now. I, I have to, that's there you go, guys. So, June 6th is gonna be, gonna be fun that week. Book your flights and hotels. I want everybody to get out here June 3rd. Get out here early, let's have fun, and, and let's just get the people what they want to see. Let's get physically, how do you feel? And live is, yeah. live is the uh, official yeah. after party yeah. at yeah. the Fountain Blue. Yeah. That's yeah. Sunday yeah. night. What yeah. well, hey. you, know, you guys gonna look, I posted a picture yesterday. It was my son, but I said he was my brother. 
So I look good, I feel good. And I'm talking and performing to do what I do best. Well, do you really want to take them both out the same night? Both Absolutely brothers? easy. <laughs> you got two fake fighters. Fake fighter, I'm a real fighter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. 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 Yeah. What's up? You looking over here? Huh? What's up? You wanna you wanna run it two in one night? Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? Boom, 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 boom. What's up? You wanna yeah, run it two in one night? Absolutely. You wanna run it two in one night? Absolutely. So, so let's let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the paperwork for this ball. Get, get L. Hayman. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call L. Hayman. Let's make it happen. I'm on two in one night. Got your hat. He got a lisp. commotion. Jake Paul started it. No, not Jake Paul. Yeah. The younger brother, whatever his name is. Get out, get out. This ain't no game. They have no idea. These kids, they do a lot of popping. All right, y'all. 